for being with Candy Bar. I hope you're smarter and funnier than a fifth grader. Playing by yourself? That's fine, but it's fine. Did you bring a friend who's more interesting and easy to joke about? Is it getting topical in here, or is it just these lifesavers? If you're unsure of the answer, press the shoulder button to eliminate two choices. If there are other players who didn't use a lifesaver, you get to pick an option out of two after they pick an option out of four. You get one lifesaver for a dozen questions, so use it strategically. Lifesavers don't work on special question cards, so keep that in mind too. Let's get going. Starting with Chip Chip Chira. If Moore's Law applied to Chip and Dale as well as computer chips, what would happen to Chip every two years? Chip gets twice as dense, Chip eats half as many acorns, Chip runs three times faster, or Chip costs five times as much. To set the record straight, Moore's Law is the observation, not actually a scientific law, that every two years, the density of integrated circuits more or less doubles. Great, because one dense chipmunk wasn't enough already. On your left hand side, you can see very remote work. If you have one day to finish an assignment, think on which planet will give you the most time to procrastinate. Mercury, Venus, Mars, or Earth actually. Drum roll please. Okay, now stop. A day on Venus is a whopping 5,832 Earth hours, or 243 Earth days. But then it would take 1,215 Earth days until the weekend, so you win some, you lose some. Let's see how you do in. Drop that mouth temperature! And it's a sorta of, kinda! Of. I'm gonna list seven names, and for each of them, you gotta tell me if it's the stage name of a DJ or DJ group, or a flavor of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. If it's DJs, press left. And if it's DJs, press right. Cherry Garcia! Marshmallow! Green Velvet! Fruit Mint! Whiskey Bed! Black Coffee! Duck Sauce! That was almost worth the price. I came up with a name Candy Bar because I was originally a guitarist. Get it? Bar chords? What if I were a Ben and Jerry's flavor? I would probably be salted caramel mixed with, I don't know, anchovies or something weird like that. Can you handle this? You don't know, the Giant Slayer. Did anyone else only find out about the whole I smell the bother of an Englishman thing until you were all grown up? Or is Stacy playing tricks on me again? When I was a kid, I don't remember hearing about Englishmen or any nationality just a fee five full fum, end quote. Anyway, suppose the giant could smell the blood of only people born in England. Because he wasn't born in England, the blood of which of these people would least stick to him? Ed Sheeran, Gordon Ramsay, Daniel Radcliffe, or Rowan Atkinson? Drum roll please. Okay, now stop. Ed Sheeran, Dan Radcliffe, and Rowan Atkinson were all born in England, but Gordon Ramsay was born in Johnston, Scotland. Though I think the giant should probably avoid eating Gordon Ramsay either way. He's gonna criticize that ground up human bones are not a suitable substitute for flour when baking bread. Be he alive or be he dead. Prepare your mind for the sweets that make you groan. So there was a time in my life when I worked as a joke proofreader on Laffy Taffy bars. It may be bitter for the rest of my life. But I still like eating Laffy Taffy, so now I'm dragging your toes into my fresh hell. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? If they flied over the bay, they'd be bagels. Okay, that was a bit clever. Speaking of bagels, if you smoked weed that made you feel like a bagel, what would you say? Dude, I'm so baked and fried right now. Well, I'm absolutely steamed and baked, and I feel totally boiled and baked. Or Holy shit, I feel like I'm baked and boiled, dude. Let's see if you passed. Bagels are made by first boiling the batter, then baking it for emphasis. Bagels are like the boring uncles of donuts, but on the bright side, you can load it up with tomato sauce and Italian sausage and make it just as tasty and unhealthy as a donut. Raise yourself for... The time is tick-tocking away. 
If I watched a different TikTok every time the quartz crystal inside my watch sticks, how many TikToks could I glance at every second? 10,080, 25,200, 32,768, or 55,400? Let's see you got it. If you keep doubling the frequency from once a second, after 15 times, you get the frequency of quartz oscillators, which is 32,768 times a second. That's a surefire way to die of stupidity overdose. Are you satisfied with the outcome of that round? That was rhetorical because the next round's starting either way. Yo, oh, hey there. Didn't see you just waiting patiently for round two of Salty Trivia. You know what's up with round two? You guessed it. Point values are double. Let's dive in. There's a pretty clueless person in here, and that's me wondering why you're not using the lifesaver. As a reminder, press the shorter button to eliminate two options and give yourself an easier time. You'll be gone in six questions if you don't use it. Raise yourself for... Tipped off! Suppose you gave me a helpful tip, and I wanted to give you a tip for your two cents worth. Based on the standard rate of gratuity in the United States, and I don't want to tip extra, how much should I tip? 0.1 cent, 0.2 cents, 0.3 cents, or 0.4 cents? Can you handle the truth? As of 2021, the customary tip is 15% of the total price, and 15% of 2 cents is 0.3 cents, so that's how much I should tip you for your tip. Geez, at that point, I might as well not tip at all and demand that your employer start paying you your full wages by default. Maybe then you'll be able to afford a few more cents to spend for yourself. This next one's called, Inhale Tetrahydrocannabinol Every Day. Let's say you were invited to a 420 party, but you've got university assignments to you, and you don't smoke weed. Which of these subjects did you study while reading a library book with a Dewey Decimal Class 420? History of the English Language, Ceramic Technology, Cinematography and Videography, or Journalism? This is a part where I correct you. The 400s are dedicated to language and linguistics, and 420 just so happens to be related to the history of the English language. But still, I don't think you should actually go to the party if your real motivation is to get work done. Unless you just want an excuse to inhale secondhand THC, then that's a different story. Your food for thought, justifiable work. You know how Todd Howard, CEO of Bethesda, sort of didn't explain some crafting mechanics in Fallout 4? Well, since they used to market their products by saying it just works, which company could send Todd a cease and desist any day now? LG Corporation, Caterpillar Inc., Apple Inc., or the Eastman Kodak Company? Let's find out. Your performance quality is right around Pipple's music. Life's not good now. Since lifesavers were deployed just now, we have a couple of late answers here. Let's find out. In 2011, Steve Jobs unveiled iCloud for Apple devices using the slogan, It Just Works. And for the record, it doesn't just work. It doesn't and it never has. Screw you, Apple. I love this one. A tarot to the knee. So I've been going to renaissance fairs lately, and it inspired me to take up a few new hobbies, like tarot reading and juggling. I've actually gotten pretty good at it. So, if I wanted to juggle an object that is one of the suits in a standard tarot deck, which of these things should I not learn to juggle? Sharp swords, plush balls, juggling rings, or shaker cups? <laughs> Let's see if you passed. Swords, cups, and rings, better known as pentacles or coins, are all suits in the minor arcana. But the fourth one is wands or batons, not balls. Maybe devil sticks would complete the set? I'm well on my way to completing all four tarot suits, because I've already gotten pretty decent in juggling rings. What's this? Riddle me this, where chicken and high culture collide. I'm gonna give you a silly phrase whose syllables rhyme with another more popular phrase, 
Pause in and type the answer as soon as you know what it is. So as a disclaimer, even though the answer rhymes in my accent, the answer might not perfectly rhyme or rhyme at all in yours. Don't at me. If you're stumped, I'll there to give you up to three clues every quarter of the way. But every half a second, the value of the question will go down, so you should buzz in as soon as you know it. Put your rhyming cap on and tell me, with what slogan does this rhyme? Wow, Gourmet Smith Bauer. I see you, I see you. Yep, that's the ad slogan for the Nintendo Entertainment System back in 1985. Though nowadays you can play with more power just by doom scrolling Twitter on your phone. Prepare your mind for Horrible History's Horribler Pop Songs. If Horrible History's parodied a Miley Cyrus song to teach kids about King Cyrus, which of the following titles might it have? Nothing Breaks Like Macedon, The Holy Roman Empire Can't Stop, Party in the Persian Empire, or Hungarian Throwdown. Let's see if you passed. King Cyrus was the king of the first Persian Empire. I feel like Horrible Histories is a misnomer. I mean, those videos are less horrible to sit through than an actual history lesson. Welcome to Like It or Leave It. For each of the five sections, like the options in the master description, but leave everything else. The first three items stay the same, but the fourth item changes every section. The topic is flying colors, and the options are red, blue, and yellow. It's time to relate. Use the flag of Poland. Poland's flag is white and red, yet white and on top. A color of standard printery. The four colors of makeup printer uses are cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, included in British Smarties from the start. replaced the light brown Smarties in 1988, then were replaced with the white Smarties in 2006, but added back in 2008 when they found a less artificial and less controversial dye, Japanese Generation 1 Pokemon games. Japan had Pokemon Red and Green first, then Blue, then Pikachu. A Coldplay song title. Yellow is a Coldplay song and so is Shiver. But there's no Coldplay song called Silver. That's enough social media time. Who's on top of the air? By winning salty trivia with Candy Bar, you have proven that your mind is full of inconsequential minutiae. Yay! <laughs>